What's going on you guys? We have a very special delivery here today. So we got a subscriber, Patrick, who he and his father operate what they call Midwest Warriors. They've got their own company, they're making baits. They might even have a prototype in here, I believe he said via Instagram message. So he just reached out to me via IG. He was like, hey man, I wanna send you some baits. And I said, no, please don't do that. Obviously I said yes, like of course, send me stuff. That's what I like. That's the part of the reason I'm here today, talking to you, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox this. I told him I would. I was like, if you send me stuff, I'm gonna do it on camera because it's all about the content. So we're gonna crack this bad boy open and see what's inside. I have literally no idea if it's fishable right now. It's tough, tough season for me, tough season, all right? If it's fishable, we'll take it out on the water. If it's not fishable right now, or not realistic to get on the water. Maybe I'll dunk it in the tank and show you guys what it looks like. Either way, we get to look at this dude's pretty sick, hopefully sick, lures. We'll see if he lives up to the hype that I'm building right now at the beginning of the video. No pressure, Patrick. All right, so we'll get to that in a second. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, be sure to subscribe, smash the like, ring the notification bell, so you can see when we post more videos. Reviews, unboxings, fishing, that's what we do here on Burley Fishing, so hang with us. And hey, you can join us every Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, live on YouTube and Twitch to chat with us. Me and my buddy Paul run the Burley Fishing Podcast live, and it's a lot of fun, so come by sometime. All right, I'm a little nervous though because I built up all this gosh dang hype. I haven't struggled with a box this hard ugh, ever. All right, here we go. Here we go, we did it, we got it. All right, cool. Yo, he sent me a leaf. Did you, did you box this in your, <laughs> did you box this in your backyard, bro? Oh, we got a sticky Midwest Warriors custom tackle. Okay, appreciate a little flag time. A little flag time, that that, that G-U-N is gonna get me flagged on YouTube, but that's okay. <laughs> oh shoot, this is fishable. This is definitely fishable. All right, so I did know he was gonna send me some plastics uh, and I'm pumped to use them. These seem extra juicy there. Look at this, look at all that juice. This is a juiced up bag right here. Okay, so you guys can see what we're working with here. We got what looks to be like some turds, some little Ned Rig worms. All right, we're gonna open those in a second. Ooh, here we go, we got a letter. Let's do this, we'll go, we'll go classic, bait by bait, but first of all, holy gosh dang heck, you wrote me a novel, my friend. All right, I'm gonna speed this up on film. You guys ready for it? Dear Jeff, my son contacted you the other day about doing a review. First of all, Thank you. You're welcome for responding. My son and I are Marine veterans. Thank you for your service. I opened my dream bait and tackle shop earlier this year. My son has been doing most of the painting. Cool, can't wait to see. We have come up with a custom Christmas tackle package that includes two hard baits of your choice. Uh, one spinner bait, one jig, one pack of Ned style jigs, and one pack of Ned plastics. Sounds like my kind of package, guys. For 40 bucks, four zero bones. Five dollars of which goes to a army warrior of mine to help him with hospital bills. Yo, we got a good gosh dang cause here, guys. Let's get behind this. Five out of 40 dollars, that's a good portion. You can find the details about him on the group page. All our tackle is custom made by quality blanks. I use KVD hooks, sick, and heavy split rings, plus quality paint and KDS clear coat. Don't know what that means because I don't make baits, but it sounds cool. The jigs, spinner baits, and chatter baits. Oh my gosh, page two, here we go. Are all hand-poured lead. The plastics are also hand-poured with pro-grade plastic. All my tackle is handcrafted. The Christmas set is about a two-week turnaround from order date. Any questions, feel free to text me. I'm sure I forgot something that you would like answered. As of now, only have Facebook group. So go check out this Facebook group, guys. Midwest Warriors Bait and Tackle. We got a good cause going on. Check him out, see if you're interested. He's got this little Christmas thing going on, so I think it's kind of cool, and I love the cause as well. P.S. I'm sending one of my new Deepwater Shad Chatterbaits to you. And we're the first to receive one, still in the prototype stage. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so pumped. If you would please field test and review it, I appreciate what you do. Dude, gosh dang, I don't have your, your name. I got your son's name who's been talking to me, Patrick, so tell me your name too, but I appreciate you guys both. That's so awesome. I, I'm pumped to open this box, you guys. Here we go. Okay, I do have a business card here. You guys wanna hit them up again, Midwest Warriors Bait and Tackle. Go check them out. They're based in Iowa, little father-son duo. American dang story, I love it. We'll start with the body baits. We'll do this the way we do regular unboxing. So here we've got a square bill. Dude, look at this color. Are you kidding me, dude? So we got like this bass pattern here. So you got your dark greens fading into like that pearly underbelly. Looks sick, look at the stripes, look at the details on this thing. This is just a really well-made looking bait. And he's using 
quality blinks, so I'm hoping that you know, it runs true, not sideways. Uh, but look at the eyes on there. The detail on this thing is just phenomenal. He's using upgraded trebles as KVD hooks, so I think, think we're going to be in for some fun with this one. I'm going to load up a tackle box with these going bank angling today, so hopefully I can catch something on these. Check out this next one. <laughs> this is like... Look at the body shape of this bill. I've never seen a square bill of this body shape, so I think that's hyper interesting. Look at the tapered head. Wow. That's so awesome. So we got the super wide lip, so we're gonna have a wider wobble to this thing. This thing's gonna be erratic and crazy. Got a tinny rattle to it. Again, got the nice trebles on that. Check out this colorway, though. So we're going from like that dark green, light underbelly, transitioning into this like orange tail. And because this thing is going to be vibing so hard in the water, that's going to put off like a cool little color trail with it. Should definitely attract some bassies. Dude, the, the coat, the finished coat on these, that's money. So next up, interesting heckin' skirt on this thing. Holy cow. Next up, we got a jig. And I don't think I've ever fished a jig like this. So this is three quarters of an ounce. Maybe this is like an Iowa thing. Maybe this is like you guys have fished this style before. Let me know in the comments if you have. Check this out. So we got this crazy skirt. It's got this ridged material, which uh, as far as I know is going to make it vibe a little bit more. It's got like these custom cut chartreuse tipped claws. So it's going to look like a crawfish, right? With some bright claws flapping around. Big thick skirt to it. Got your bait keeper here so we can still throw a plastic on underneath this. A decent brush guard right there. And a nice stout hook. I mean, this is pretty sweet. Look at the head shape. And he's custom molding these too. So this is molded lead that he made himself. And it doesn't look bad, man. Honestly, it looks pretty good. And then he just like chartreuse painted it. Nice. I like it. I can dig that. Next up, we got a half ounce bladed jig chatterbait if you will make it a chatterbait seems like a pretty complex thing to me i don't know you guys anybody here making their own baits like this you let me know what do you think about the quality hit me up in the comments below but check this out so we got like this multicolored blade like blues and orange to it you got your little line tie section that you're typically going to have with a chatterbait so the line goes there fishing this along this blade is just vibing right just vibing uh the skirt color i love it it's like this kind of blue gilly pattern to it so we got our blues oranges green pumpkins you got a nice stout hook on the back side there and then your molded bait keeper as well for the plastic so love me a chatterbait you guys know that i'm excited to see how this thing fishes blade feels pretty good i think it's going to hold up heavy duty split ring like you said so it should hold up pretty good and this jig head is just smooth you guys, you guys are doing awesome things. I like this. I like this a lot. All right. A couple more things left. We got the Ned heads. Again, they're custom molding these. I don't want to drop them like I drop everything always. God, such a klutz. So custom molded jig right here. Got like a lighter wire hook with a little bit of sweep to it. I like that. It's going to help me keep the fish pinned. Got our bait keeper wire right there. Looks good. And we got this mixed color like black and silver right at the top of the head there. Nice thing about this is I buy big brand lead jigs like this sometimes and they don't have the line tie open. I have to chip the line tie apart because low quality, they left the paint over that line tie. And these guys did not, so I can appreciate that. You done good, kids. You done good. Then we got this 3 eighths of an ounce spinner bait. Colorful skirt, very colorful skirt here. So we got chartreuse we got orange we got black we got white we got green pumpkin and blues even so it's very much like that bluegill bait fish kind of pattern to it we got some big old blades which it looks like they painted as well and clear coated check that out it's gonna have a little added flash there with some like blue green and orange flake to it wire seems pretty well done I've made a few of these myself, so I can now appreciate making them. Uh, this, is, this is like one type of bait that I've actually made. Uh, and then, well, jig head looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm digging it. 
big old willow leaf blades on this thing and it's three eighths of an ounce. So this is something I am gonna fish today. Before we get to the prototype, let's check out these, these juicy... <laughs> Bro, you scenting these up so hard. <laughs> I love it. Man, I cannot describe how fishy these smell right now, you guys. So it's got a shad scent to it. it get stinky just for you. I'm gonna fish them later anyways. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna actually just rig one up because we're gonna tie it on right off the bat. All right, so check out this Ned plastic. That is hot. So we got like the two-tone color, a little orange to this more translucent, like brownish color on top. Lots of green and yellow flake in there to give you that added flash. You got your little bumpy section. This would be the bottom, base of the tail. Rib section is gonna be the top, goes straight to that flat point is gonna be on the jig head. So I like to go bright colors on the back side. So we're just gonna go ahead and see how this threads on. Okay, threads through the plastic pretty easily. Push it up over that keeper. Oh baby, oh baby, there we go. So it's got some good action to it. And we're already rigged up with our first one. Push down, I always like to push down on that bait keeper wire. That way it's less likely to pull or move at all. And then I'll throw a little dab of, you guys know the drill, a little dab of glue, a little dab will do ya. Stay on forever, so we're gonna go fish this baby around. I think it looks good. Reeks! <laughs> so it's gotta be good, right? Jeez Louise. All right, guys, here we go. So we got the prototype here. Let's see what this baby is all about. I love how well packaged it was, like, so you can't even see it. So this is a deep chatter bait, Ugh. meaning it's super heavy. This is a one ounce, bro. I'm gonna do my best to field test this for you, man. Um, oh, shoot. Mostly because I really want to. I'm really hoping I don't lose it. So this is going on the heavy rod for sure. So it's one ounce. This is so interesting. This is so interesting. So check this out. There's your, your one ounce. That's why it weighs so much. But to me, this is like a, a spoon lipless blade bait kind of deal mixed with a chatter bait, right? So we got this big old body weight to a nice stout treble on the back, right? So one, one hook set, one treble. And then we're coming up to this super heavy duty section to a heavy duty split ring to a chatter bait blade right there. And I imagine when you cast this thing out there, you're gonna have to just huck it out there and then Reel her back in with this thing, hopefully chit-chatting around. So he said field test this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to see what I can do. I don't know if I'll get to test it today, but soon. Uh, we'll give it a, we'll give her a go. Give her a shot. I'll, I'll try to take three rods with me to the bank today. See if I can do it. I'd rather fish this in deeper water from my boat, though. So it might be another day. So hang tight. All right, so all in all, great box, you guys. I appreciate it so much that you were able to send this over to me. I, I can't thank you enough. So I think it's awesome. Love getting these things in. Love checking out what you guys are out there making. And again, this is the Midwest Warriors. Again, they're based out of Iowa. A little father-son duo, getting it done, doing some cool stuff, making some sick looking baits. You got the jig, you got the square bills, you got the Ned rig set up, you got the spinner bait, you got the chatter bait, and then you got the prototype that might be coming out at some point. So I just think it's so awesome that you guys are making this stuff and then that you're giving back to the community. So you got a, a buddy who's a vet who's in need of some help and you're donating you know, a portion of those proceeds to them. That's so cool. So Midwest Warriors, bait and tackle. Go check them out. Tell them Burley Fishing sent you. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. I hope you're having an awesome day and hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, Consider smashing that like button on this video and ringing that notification bell so you can see when we post more videos. And you know, make sure you're subscribed as well. We've also got tons more content coming your way, so stay tuned this holiday season for more reviews, unboxings, and I don't know, gift ideas, Black Friday deals. Come hang out with us Thursday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern, live on YouTube and Twitch. You can hang out with me and my buddy Paul as we host the Burley Fishing Podcast live. Again, thanks for watching today, guys. We'll see you out on the water.